Hey guys, welcome to part 3. Today we're going to go through these tasks. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a new app for the products. So you need to go to the command line, stop the server, and then run python manage.py, start app, and then product, sorry, for python 3. So now I have a new product app. So if I go to Nordic Homes to find settings.py, we can add it to the list of installed apps first. So product and save. So now Django knows that this app exists. And then we can go to the to-do list, set the first task to done. Next, I want to create a new database model for the categories. This should be in the product app. So find product slash models.py. Then you can create a new class by saying class category and pass in models.model. I want one field for the name and this should be a char field with, some, with a max length of 255. And I want a slug field, so slug equals models.slug field. This doesn't need a max length. I want the categories to be ordered alphabetically, so we need to add the class meta for configuration. Class meta, ordering, and then a tuple name, and remember to add a comma here. And we can also set the default string representation of this class, def, str, self return self.name so it's easier to see this in the admin interface nice so then we just need to update the database python 3 manage by make migrations so here you see that we want to create a new model called category and then python 3 manage by migrate so then you can go back to the code or to-do list set this task to done and then I want to make it possible to add the categories in the Django admin interface so we need to register this database model inside admin.py in the product app so here we can import it by saying from dot models import category and then admin dot site dot register category and save and to be able to log into the admin interface, we need to create a super user, python3, manage it by create super, oops, super user, and then a username, and then a password, oh sorry, email address, and then the password, and then we need to run the server so we can log in, python3, Manage it by run server like that. So then we can go to the uh, to the browser. Just copy this, open a new tab, and go to slash admin. And here I can log in with the user I just created. And here you see that the categories we imported appear. So if I click this, you will see a list of categories. If there were any, so you can create one. Sofas. So first, save another another one, beds, beds, and save. So now we see the list here. Perfect. So now that we have a few categories in the database, we can set this task to done. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And then I want to proceed and create a new database model for the products. And this should be connected to the other model. So below here, we create one more database model. Class product, and then we pass in the model.model. .model. And then con to connect this to this model, we need to create something called a foreign key. And this it looks like this category models.foreign key and then we pass in the model which is this one and set the related name to products so it's easy to get the product that con uh, is connected to a category and we set the on delete to models.cascade so if we delete the category we also delete all of its products so here we can copy the name and the slug field from up here because we need this for the product as well and I want one description field, which is the text field. We can set this to blank equals true and null equals true. So this can be empty for the products. And I want the price field. 
price equals models dot integer field because I want to specify the price in cents and not dollars like that and I want one field so we know that when this product was created and this is created at set this to be a date time field and the value to be auto now add equals true so every time we create a new field uh, sorry when we create a new product this is automatically filled out and I want to set the ordering here as well because here I want to show the newest product first so to do that we say minus created at this is then created at in descending order and I also want a string representation of this class to this so now we can save this. So now we have the database model. We just need to update the database. So step up the server again. And then we can run the make migrations and also the migrate. Great. So now we can run the server again. So we have it running in the background. So now I can set this task to done. Then the next step now is to create a few products in the admin interface. But if you go back here now to the front page, it doesn't exist here yet. So you need to import this as well. So in the admin.py file, we import the model, make a copy of this, and then just replace the value there. So now we can refresh and click add to create a new product. We can create a new bed, bed, name, and then a slug, just bed name. This is the description and then the price in cents. So 100 cents will be $1, 1000 cents will be $10 and 10,000 cents will be $100. So you create, just click save and add another one. So beds, and bed 2000 and then a slug version of the name. And then just lorem ipsum blah blah blah. And then the price, like that. We can save. Now we have two beds here. Now we can add one sofa as well. Brown leather sofa. Very comfortable sofa. And then the price, like that. We can save. And now we have three products in the database. And then it's time to make it possible to show them here on the front page instead of these hard-coded products. But first we can go to the to-do list and set this task to done. And then we want to get eight products to show on the front page. We don't have that many in the database yet, but we can still limit it to eight. So if we now go to core slash views.py, which is where we have the front page, we can import the database model here from dot sorry from product dot models import product. And we want to get the products from the database by saying products equals product which points to this dot objects dot all. And to get eight, we use this which slice it into eight. So now we get the first eight in the database and then to make this list available in the front end we need to append it here as a context or a dictionary like that so now we can use this to loop through instead of showing them hard-coded as we do here so if you find the first one then here we can say for product in products and then at the bottom of this element we say and for. So then we cl uh, close the for loop. And then just to show that it's working, we can show the product name here. Product.name. And save. So if you now go here to the browser and refresh, we should see the products that we added in the database. Perfect. So then I just want to remove these hard-coded like that. So now we just have dynamically data from the database. Perfect. And that was it for this part. In the next part we're going to set up the design for the shop page and also the product detail page. See you in the next video.